We thank God for that. Can I hear a big hallelujah? Even those who are listening to us on the Zeno radio on online, God bless you. What say you are connected with the supernatural tonight? Uh, there are some people here which have just connected right now on Zeno Radio and also they will listen to us on YouTube. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Wow. Uh, this is a conference of revival. This is a conference of revival. Uh, this is a conference of revival. Uh, when it, this is a conference of revival. Uh, we have talked about revival. Praise the Lord. Somebody say revival. Can I hear somebody say revival? God has promised revival in our country. Some of you, you may not be aware and you may not know what is revival and why revival and what is the, 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 the use of revival and why God was, was revival to begin with our country. But I want to say to you, child of God, this is a season for our country, Uganda, to, re to experience revival. Hallelujah. Amen. Before the end of this conference, before the end of my sermon, you will understand what is the revival and why you need the revival. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Can we get good readers of the Bible to be prepared before we start reading? God promised revival through different men of God. Also, myself, God spoke to me about a revival coming in Uganda. And he said to me many years back, and he said to me, there is a revival which is coming in Uganda. And he also spoke to Pastor Benin and said, there is a revival coming in Uganda. But the good thing is to many him, God spoke to him that this is going to start with 2022. Somebody said 2022. Can I hear you say 2022? When God promised something, it means he's willing to do something. When he promised, I'm going to do this, he's willing to do it. Because God is not a son of man to lie. When he says something, he's ready to do it. Just, just get ready, God is about to do something <laughs> in your life. And I hear somebody shouting, I say, God is about to do something in your life. Uh, somebody tell them, God is about to do something in your life. Somewhere we can get a quiet place and do your mind. You may be seated in the name of Jesus. Now I have seen you are ready. Hallelujah. Amen. When we talk about revival, we first look at the men who brought revival in their generation. How did they bring revival? Uh, they were men of God. If they were men of God, they were men of God. Starting with your life. Number one key 
of bring revival. It is prayer. Somebody say prayer. When I say prayer, a prayerless Christian or a prayerless man of God is a weak man of God. Without prayer, there is, there is no revival. Revival begins with prayer. Hallelujah. There are many children of God. They have been sleeping and slumbering and talking about revival. Revival cannot be burst when there is slumbering. We see our Lord Jesus Christ when he offered or when he brought in revival. His foundation. He went in fasting and prayer for what days and four nights. Praying and fasting. And then he came back with the power of the Spirit. Somebody said the power of the spirit. Matthew chapter 4. He came back with the power of the spirit. When he came back with the power of the spirit. He brought the revival which caused even the seducers, the teacher of the law, to get a palace. And they said, which kind of authority are you using? Hallelujah. And the Bible says it was his routine. Matthew chapter 17. It was his discipline. Every night. Every evening. He went on the mountain to pray. There are many people talking about revival, but they are not. They are not praying. If you are a prayerless man of God, you are a weak man of God. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah. They are men of God. They talk about the power. They are women of God. They talk about the power. The manifestation of God. But nothing is happening. You know why? No, no prayer, no fasting. And if there's no prayer and fasting, no power, no manifestation of God, no prayer and fasting. You talk about, you talk about the, in, in the other, the other days, yes, this, 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 you just talk about yes, but not showing the power of God in people's lives. You talk about yes, but not showing the power of God in people's lives. No, you talk about no gamba abit for what tax the government got hang on magaragabantu. Somebody shout hallelujah. I throw it at hallelujah. If we are to bring revival, we have to be ready to surrender our lives to God. We have to be ready to surrender our lives to God. We have to be ready to surrender our lives to God. We have to be ready to surrender our lives to God. We have to deny ourselves. Number one principle. Somebody shout hallelujah. I say somebody shout hallelujah. 
And even as he died, he began to pray. It was in the night. Around 10 p.m. I prayed the whole night and the next day. I found myself it was in the evening at 6. When I woke up, my knees was even paralyzed because of kneeling for many hours. You see others are manifesting in the power and you tell them they are cowards. They are not of God because you are weak in prayer. Is somebody getting me here? When I began to Manifest in the power of God. I said when I start now manifest in the power of God. That's not God. That power is too much. You know why? You are weak in prayer. You are always eating, drinking, and whatever and surrounding. When others are praying and fasting for you, are eating and sleeping. Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody said, No, it's not me. Somebody said, No, it's not me. For the revival. 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 For the the church has become too weak. The church has become materialistic. Every man of God and every woman of God is pursuing money and gold. Everyone, hey, money, where is money? He, he comes to preach because he's looking for money. I'm telling you, if you are still greed and taken over with finances, money, there is no manifestation of God. I'm not saying money is bad. I also hate poverty. But we have to know what is valuable. What do we need? Somebody get in here. Then God does not need a crowd of people. God just needs one person who can avail himself. Commit himself. Seek God. Pray. Pass. Read the word of God. And God will use that person to glorify God in this generation. God needs committed I said, God, number three, God wants a committed vessel. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, Hallelujah. Amen. Is somebody getting me here and shout a bigger Hallelujah here? Hallelujah. There are people today. They know when God has promised that revival to come in our land. But they have never taken a step of commitment to God. They have never taken a step of total surrender to God. To revival to start with them. If we don't wake up, God will visit our neighboring countries. Because God is always on the move. If you reject him, he goes to the neighbor. If you give him welcome, he comes to you. God has visited our land. Now is the time to see what we have never seen. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. When God is speaking about revival, he's not speaking about shouting 
and clapping hands. Number one. What is revival number one? Revival When a revival comes, revival will be total repentance. Uh, Revival is not just revival. You come up and you say revival. No. Where there is revival, there is total repentance. That's number one. Where there is no repentance, there is no revival. There are some people who say that God has grace. We all know that God is, has grace. But if you sin and you don't repent, hell is waiting for you. Mm. Is somebody getting me here? Is somebody getting me here? Sin is sin. Don't mix your weakness with the word of God. You know God forgives. You know, you know if you have weakness, know that it's your weakness. Repent, pray, cry to God to transform you. Don't cover your weakness by the grace. The grace of God is revealed to people who repent. Am I talking the right way here? There will be many doctrines which will come. And they will tell you, well, even if you sin, you go to heaven. Even if you sin and God finds you, you go. No. I mean, if you don't repent and you die in your sin, hell is waiting for you. But if you repent, God can forgive you. Jesus, he can choose to be forgiven. Praise the Lord. Amen. If we are to bring revival, number one. I said, I, I said what? Nagambachi. Fasting and prayer. And I said also when the revival comes, one, one of the things we shows number one is repentance. I'm teaching about two things in one because I have one day. Brother Lord, when you see they are talking about revival, there is no repentance. That's just when there, there is no revival. Because when revival comes, conviction comes. When you see the backsliders, Turning to Christ with cry, tears, and trembling. That is number one revival. I said that is revival. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, when revival comes, you will see a great, a great harvest of souls. These are signs of revival. When you go to a revival and you are in your two people, they are not increasing. There's no souls which are coming, guys. That's not revival. Pray again for revival. Number three, when revival comes, I said revival comes. There is great harvest of souls. You will seek for coming no, a unlimited number of people just ready coming to Christ. God has visited our church these days, people every Sunday. We have no even where to put people. As Pagan was preaching there last Sunday, every Sunday people are increasing. We are Buying chairs, we are boring, we are hiring chairs, people are increasing like something else. People are crying to the Lord. We are even buying the neighbors to put there an overflow one. We are even buying the neighbors to put there an overflow one. Because the, the space is not enough. Because at our church, people are praying 
day and night. Because we knew we heard that God is saying there is revival coming and you want to be part of what God is doing commit yourself in what God has said is somebody getting and shout a big hallelujah hallelujah glory to God hallelujah praise the Lord Amen. they don't talk about just revival but they know something about it. I say number two. When a revival comes, number two. There should be great harvest of souls. Number three. When the revival comes, revival supernatural. It is not deniable. Supernatural has to be available. Miracles, healing, wonders. When the revival comes, supernatural has to be evident. Praise the Lord. Number four. When the revival comes, I want to teach you what brings revival. I've told you when the Bible comes, what happens. I'm going back to the foundation. What brings revival? Number one, prayer and fasting. Number two, repentance. Somebody say, repentance. Repentance. Praise the Lord. Number three, total surrender. Somebody said total surrender. There should be people who are going to surrender seriously. Avail their spirits, their lives, their bodies to the Lord. The Bible says in, in the book of Romans chapter that present your bodies. As a living sacrifice to the Lord. It's the holy and acceptable to the Lord. Avail your bodies as a living sacrifice to the Lord. If you want the whole of God, you have to give the whole of you. Can I say it again? Even my son and brother who are listening to us on online. My sons and daughters who are listening to us on online. They have been waiting for, for me to speak in this conference. The whole of God is the whole of you. If you want the whole of God in you, you have to give the whole of you to God. Ay, ay, ay. In other words, you talk about God, God, God. To you to experience the fullness of God. It is a level of total surrender. It's a level of self denial. Am I talking to the right people here? Am I talking to the right people here? Am I talking to the right people here? If you still love yourself, you are not going to receive the whole of God. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, ay, ay, ay. If you still love yourself, you are not going to receive the whole of God. I remember there is days with, where we used to fast. 
And we grow very small and thin. And also these are going to die. But for them they will not see where we are going. But for us we are seeing where we are going. Don't all surrender to God. Don't all commitment to God. We will bring the whole God to sit in you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 8. Bible says Matthew chapter 10 verse 8. Read for us who, who is there. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Matthew, Matthew. Thank you Jesus. 10 verse 8. Somebody tell me about the whole of God. He takes the all of you. If you want that all of God in you, you have to you have to also to give the whole of you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 10 38. Yes. Mm. And he who does not take his cross and follow after me mm-hmm. is not worthy of me. Mm. What? Yes. He who finds his life will lose it. He who finds his life will lose it. Uh-huh. And he who loses his life for my sake uh-huh. will find it. Uh-huh. Fourteen. He who receives you receives me. And he who receives him there. Who sent me? God bless you. He said, anyone who does not take his cross and follow me. He has no qualification to be my disciple. He has no qualification to be my disciple. Praise the Lord. Amen. He has no qualification to be my disciple. Amina. What is the cross? Um, um, the cross may be the pain you go through. There are things which come to oppose you in salvation. If you don't take heart. Wabota. And stand strong and follow Christ. It will be impossible for you. Praise the Lord. Carry your cross. No matter the bank, the body. The, the, the body. No matter the problem. No matter the hindrance. No matter the opposition in your ministry. No matter what is fighting you. Stand and follow Christ. Somebody say, Stand and follow Christ. We are in a generation where people they are looking for miracle money and miracles wherever they go. If you don't give me a husband, I will quit from salvation. That's the problem. If God has not given me a car, I will not stay in salvation. Salvation is not about money, it's not about riches, it's not about good cars. Even the sinners are many who are richer than us. Which are, which are going to hell. Hello. Amina. I said hello. Hello. There are many rich sinners which are going to hell. Me, I'm not intimate with riches of people. Whether you have money or not, I don't fear you. The kingdom of God 
is more valuable than gold and silver. I said the kingdom of God is more valuable than the cars we want and the money we want. You can be rich whether you are born again or not. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. You can get good marriage whether you are born again or not. You can even get a good husband whether you are born again or not. The kingdom of God is not about money. It's not, a, it's not about houses, it's not about uh, good marriage, getting a good husband or good wife. No. Praise We have treasure what is the most. Which is Jesus Christ. I said, which is Jesus Christ in us. Can I hear Peter? Hallelujah, if you are getting me. We have treasure which is Jesus Christ in us. Not glory, not riches, not cars, not cars. A car cannot pay for your sins. But Jesus Christ died for your sins. Salvation is very important than whatever you are looking at. You to be a child of God is very important than acquiring whatever you are looking for. is very important than acquiring whatever you are looking for. I know you are looking for something. God will give it to you, but it's not the vital, it's not the important thing. Let your love for Christ be on Jesus. And other things will follow you. I said, and other things will follow you. We are in a generation. When you when they go to church, please don't cancer. I may go and God give me a husband. Oh God give me a good job. God Aba, give me money. There are people who come to my office at the church. And some of them they are not looking for Jesus. But they are looking for if a man of God can pray for me and I get a child. I get a job. When you say when you see their lives with their lives in Christ is totally on parallel lines, the totally on zero level. They are looking for something to God. Jesus looked at uh, Apostle Karu, but Jesus looked at the crowd and he said, These people you see, they are looking for me not because they love me, but they are looking for me because they are looking for bread. It was a confession from our Lord Jesus. He said, These people, they are looking for me. Not because they love me. But because I gave them bread. Now they are looking for bread. Praise the Lord. Ask your neighbor, what are you looking in this kingdom? What are you looking for in this kingdom? Are you looking for a good husband, for a good wife? Are you looking for omugati? Are you looking for money? No, 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 shisha, omukazi, omugati, narsente. What are you looking for? No, no, no. Because what you are looking for, it will either keep you here or it will take you away from the church. Because if you don't get it, you will go away, you will run away. Now you came looking for a husband. Now I have not got a husband. Let me go and look for for another place where I can get a husband. Because you kept looking for a man. I'm not looking for a child. I've not got a child in this church. Now let me go another place. Maybe I can get a child. 
Because of my Lord, when it turns to your mind, what are you looking for in this kingdom? No wonder John broke a move. Ask your neighbor, what are you looking for? Because I'm tired of no wonder. In this kingdom of God, on broke a move we are hunger. There are those who are looking for fame. He never really made one to come and There are those who are looking for jobs. He never could on them more. There are those who are looking for to come to God and give them prosperity. He never really made one that hang out with Abisha who can go to him. And those are people. And can never know about them. If they don't get it, they run away from it from, from the church. Let me just quickly take a look. Ask your neighbor, what are you looking for in this kingdom? Uh, ask your neighbor, what are you looking for in this kingdom? I want you to start looking and seeking Jesus Christ. Because it's the author of life. It's the beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Some of you don't want to hear this, but you have to hear this because God sent me to preach this new thing. If you hear my messages, you, you, you run away or you stay. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Matthew 16 verse, 16 verse 24. Then Jesus said to the disciples. If anyone would come after me. Let him deny himself. He must deny himself. And take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to serve to save his life, we lose it. And whatever loses it, we will gain it. Praise the Lord. Amina. Now is the time that your life will be lost in Christ. Lost in prayer. Lost in fasting. Lost in prayer. Lost in the kingdom of God. Prayer can never be found. God is looking for a willing vessel to anoint and use. Total surrender. I know you love sleeping, but even the house you are sleeping in is not a good house you want. The men who brought revival in, in, in our days, they were people who denied themselves. I, re, I, re, I, have a, I have books of God's generals. Hallelujah. Amen. I read about Azusa revival. Oh. Azusa revival. Azusa revival. The revival which happened in, 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 in those European countries. The men prayed. And the fire appeared on the building. They prayed for many days. None stopped. Not, not shutting up their mouth, but praying. Second day, fourth day, fifth day, day, seventh day, without stopping praying. They prayed in their own language. The, the Holy Ghost came on, on them. They prayed in tongues. None stopped for many days. And, and the fire, fire came, taken over the whole building. And the fire brigade came to quench the fire before they thought this is a real fire. But even who was putting the, the, those, those tubes of, of water, the Holy Ghost was coming on them, speaking in tongues. Revival does not just come. It is you to pass revival. 
That's why when you see a woman giving birth, as Pastor John said, cannot laugh. In the face of giving birth, they're not laughing. But the seriousness. Praise the Lord. They prayed and the fire appeared on the building. And everyone who entered in that, in that church, after those that prayers, they started the church. They, they began a church. It was a small room. Everyone who was in that room. They were just praying and worshiping. And those who had you know, those who got accident and they, they, their hands were chopped off. The, the hands was growing. Those who had Stopped legs. Legs, they were growing. Those who had diseases, they were lame. Blind people. We were praying for them. But just in the church, worshiping, praying, in eternal prayer, and the power of God hitting those who are getting healed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, if you want, to, if you, if we, we have to back revival in our land and other countries, and in your country, those who are listening to me, the Bible says in the book of Nehemiah, chapter one, and they prayed and fasted. Somebody open Nehemiah chapter 1. And they prayed and did what? Prayed and fasted. Somebody say prayer. Somebody say prayer. Praise the Lord. From verse 4, when I heard these things, I sat down and wept for many days. I moved and fasted and prayed before God of heaven. I prayed and did what? Nehemiah, in the book of Nehemiah, is a book of revival when. That, that Jerusalem was broken and everything was smitten and destroyed. Nehemiah and the others, they were people who brought revival. Who say, let us go and rebuild the house of God and rebuild the temple and rebuild Jerusalem. They were people who went back rebuild. You, you know, revival means rebuilding. Renew. Get back. That's revival. You cannot bring revival if, if you don't pray and fast. And they did what? They, and he prayed and fasted. If you want to bring revival in your family, you have to be ready to pray and fast for your family to be revived. Oh God, change my family. God will save my family. They will die in their sins until you, 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 you become dedicated to pray and fast for your family to receive the revival. Hallelujah! Amen. In the book of Ezra, also Ezra was the founder of revival, chapter 10. And, and, and they prayed and fasted. Everything, every power, every manifestation of God in the Bible, it was if it was coming out of the foundation of prayer and fasting. Praise the Lord. Amen. It was from the foundation of what? Prayer and fasting. 
Kalu kurda a msinche mokshaba noksiba. And Moses went on a mountain. Musafir azar shazi. For many days praying and fasting. Arukshaba kanda arukshiba. And then the glory of God came on him. Atiyeshi zacharanga chamshuma ho. And when he came out of the mountain of the of, of the cloud of glory. And pia shumira tu kurgar shazro chamanda. Whoever looked at him, ran away and said, Hey, please. Away from us because you are scaring us. Every manifestation of God is birthed by prayer and fasting. There are many people who say, You just it all. You know, when you need healing, you know, you want to pray for somebody to get healed. You just lay hands and say, In Jesus' name, we say, You will lay hands on sick people and they will recover. You will pray for them and they will die. No, he's not sure about the fact that our men are going to hang out at the temple and are going to be busy. There are many people. And how about the men? Instead of praying for somebody to get healed, he dies. Oh my! Oh my! I'm not sure about the fact that our men are going to be busy. Is God not working? And by the way, hang out with the church. You have a problem. There is no manifestation of the spirit of God without prayer and fasting. Read the whole history in the Bible and also start it from our days. Shoma kurga aria ni rohom bibere nyuma na na orebera bahu. And also try it and start it from yourself. Ni wechje zohoche shoma oche orebera bahu. Somebody getting me here. Inari yona tunga. I say, is somebody getting me here? Inari kumfuna ha. Hallelujah. Amina. People love to eat. And sleepy. Monday to Sunday. Month to, to years. Then you say, I'm the author of the divine manifestation. You just talk about it, but you don't see the manifestation. You remain the same level in the spirit and also in the physical. So that's denial. Releases great manifestation of God. Ah, uh, if you are clapping for Jesus, clap in a better way. Hallelujah. Amen. The all. The all of God, the all of God. Rahanga we na. The all of you. Na itengwa rahang iwe we iwe we na. If you want the all of God in you, man of God. Wano enda rahanga we no meriu. You have to give the all of you. No teka kwa yo iwe we na. And self denial. Okwe no kwe yansa. Rachelo. Rahanga si mo. That's why others they are they are they are, they are higher than others in the manifestation and in the spiritual realm. Why? Their commitment to God is different. The gifts of the spirit cannot manifest or cannot work in a carnal-minded person. If they are, they are, they are spiritual gifts. Spirit of God. Now, if you are not in the spirit, you cannot manifest in the things of the spirit. The church of Christ is too weak because people are weak. Because even those who are fasting, they are fasting because they are looking for money. I'm fasting because I want a husband. I'm fasting because I want a good car. I'm fasting because the other pastor is better than my church. Let me also fast and be higher than him. You are lying to yourself. Let also fast. Let God put you on the other level of the other man. Or the other woman of God. You God. are lying to yourself. No, ye Seek God for your calling. Seek God for your life. Seek God to fill you. To fill your life. Ah, somebody shout hallelujah. Seek God to baptize with the Holy Ghost. Have you ever fasted? 
that God will fill the Holy Spirit. People hold fasting because they want money. They are demanding us rent. They are demanding us this. I also used to fast that kind of fasting. But the more I fasted those fasting, the more I was more bold than not going anywhere. Until I, I discovered the mystery of the kingdom. That what I want is not money. What I want is God to be more in me. When God is more in me, and He begins to manifest in me, things will happen. Praise the Lord. Amina. And I stopped fasting for money, fasting for guns, fasting for things. And I began fasting with surrendering to the Lord. Oh God, can you feel me? Take over my life. Take over my soul. Take over my body. Let me be the vessel you can use. Let me be the vessel you can empower to use. Come with my Lord, you are my strength. And when he comes and fills your life, things will happen no matter what. I said things will happen no matter what. Somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. As I'm waiting up, if you want the whole of God, you have to give the whole of you. Total surrender will cause you to see the great manifestation of God in your life. And not only in your life, but also in your generation. Praise the Lord. We are heard of seeing people talking about God, but not God manifesting. We want to talk about God, God who is evident. Our God is so real. Our God is so able. Our God is evident. He's not a son of man to lie. But he cannot, he cannot, he, can, he can't manifest, he cannot manifest in a carnal-minded person. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you are too carnal, forget about seeing God. You will see him through others. But not you revealing him. But not you revealing him. Am I talking here? Am I talking to somebody here? This gospel is mostly for mature but not for young people like others here. Not some, I say it's not for some of you here, not all of you, but some of you here. Some mature people, not for young people. Praise the Lord. Amina. Because we are raising leaders, we are not raising all people, we are raising leaders who are going to shake this world. We are raising channels who are going to shake a nation, it's not only Uganda. We are going to manifest God Himself. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can't, you can't manifest God. You can't manifest God if you are still a carnal person. I'm telling you. 100%. You can't. I said you can't. You talk about him, but you don't reveal it. No, you shall come again. Baho munga toru muere kwa. Read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation. You shall not be buried or kuda okutani kapako kushururwa. You know. No, you shall come again. Those who reveal to God, how did they manage? How did they do? Ababa shuri derhanga ba kachikola bata. We were just talking about the history, you know, and God of fear, and Peter said, Hey, Goloko Kotamble, you, you think that you just take Goloko Tamble? 
No, you say the what I have is what I give. You can't give what you don't have. Uh, I said you can't give what you don't have. Peter said the what I give is, is what I have is what I give unto you. You think you can you can give what you don't have. You will lie to yourself. No, you be her. By having Jesus in me. I have Jesus in me by faith. Uh, if you have him, you also know it. When you, when you dry, you also know it. There's a friend of mine. He came to my home recently and I told him, I, he said to me, I have Jesus in me. I said, you are lying to yourself. You show me that you have him now. And I will also show you now that I have him. Is somebody getting me here? We don't talk, we don't, we don't, we don't just talk about yes. You know, I have yes. You know, reveal him and we know that you have him. I'm fighting somebody here. You know, you're not when he's not manifesting in you and you are saying you have him in you, you have him in you. Peter said, Peter said, I have. Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Verse 3. Is what I give unto you. Arise up and walk. Immediately the man rose up and walked. You cannot give what you don't have. But you give what you don't have. But, but, you, but you give what you have, sir. If you are not a carrier of the presence of God, you will manifest yourself not in the presence of God. I said, if you are not a carrier, of the presence of God. You will manifest yourself, not the presence of God manifesting. There are many shouting materials on the pulpit. They are shouting you some, hey, 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 God, God. But when you say, hey, show me God, there is nothing is revealed. Now is the time that Jesus Christ will be revealed in the church. Can somebody shout a bigger amen? I say, now is the time. That Jesus Christ will be revealed in the church. Shout and say, Jesus, I'm here. How is the time? I can cook it. Praise the Lord. Iga Bajosa. Reke Taba Supra here. We cannot talk about God and we just remain in on the same level. No. I went I went to my to, 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 to my to my to my to my to my auntie. She was sick. I said, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick. I said, you are sick, I have Jesus. I said, in the name of Jesus, arise and walk. You are healed in Jesus' name. Immediately, whatever was troubling that left hand, she got healed. Don't talk about Jesus. Manifest Jesus in, in other people's lives. And people will refine Jesus in your life. We are in the season that Jesus will be manifested. I say Jesus will be manifested. In every church you are coming from, we are sending revival there. Go and pray. Go and fast. God wants to start with you. When God wants to save a generation, he doesn't want a crowd of people. He wants just one person. A committed vessel. Not all people. When God wants to rescue a generation, it doesn't mean all people. He wants a committed 
vessel. Many are called, but few are chosen. But do you know why few are chosen man of God? Because the, the chosen one. They are the one who decide to be chosen. Because of their total surrender and commitment to God. Somebody can be here. Praise the Lord. God is calling us all. For revival. For revival. Not for men of God, not for few people, but for all of us. These signs have followed those who believe in my name. They know what? They will lay their hands on sick people and they will recover. Not for pastors, but for those who believe in the name of Jesus. Whether you were Christian, whether you were, you, were, you were younger, baby, if you believe in the name of Jesus, you have the guarantee. You have the qualification to lay on your hands on sick people and they recover. The reason why they are not getting it is because you are too weak in the spirit. When you empower yourself spiritually, in prayer, in fasting, you are going to birth the anointing. You are going to birth revival. You are going to birth power. I said you are going to birth great miracles. Somebody say, I am the pioneer of revival. I am the pioneer of revival. What I'm telling you, I have the, the evidence of it. I have the evidence of it. Go and do it. And keep on doing it. You will see how God is going to use you. I said go and do it. That's how revival is going to start in Uganda. That is how revival is going to move in nations. Go and do it. You are going to pass revival. You are going to pass the power of God. You are going to pass miracles. Somebody Shout hallelujah. hallelujah! Glory to God, hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Shaka Yaraba Shanda Raba. Lift up your hands to Jesus wherever you are. Just lift up your hands to Jesus right now. Lift up your hands to Jesus. I want to give you time and go back and prepare for the overnight because tonight we have a night of prayer. Lift up your hands to Jesus. Say, Lord, revive me tonight. Revive me this evening, Lord. I want to be the pioneer of revival. I want to be the author of revival. Starting with my life and my family and my community and the entire nation and the entire world let go so bad Lift up your voice and pray to the Father. Go to the Lord in Kayadosa. He go paruzu pradi konda le bahande kaya baha. She te 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 te. Rakata kaya nda 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 mo soto ba. Let the church pray. Let the church seek the Lord. And the Lord will manifest. Let the church pray. Let the church seek the Lord. And the Lord will manifest. Let the church pray. And let the church seek the Lord. Not because of money. Not because of marriages. Not because of other affluent things, but because of divine kingdom. Hey, get the 
Let the church pray. Let the church sing the Lord. Because of the kingdom of God. Not because of money. Not because of assets. Not because of earthly things. But seeking the Lord. Because of the kingdom of God. Say Lord, I, I, I surrender to your will. I surrender my life. I surrender my life. Egado shanta rabako shakaya baba. Heke debo shanta rabako shakalaba. I hear a sound of revival. I hear the sound of revival. I hear the sound of revival. I hear the sound of revival. The Lord is saying to somebody here. Revival who be bathed with you who be bathed by you by prayer and fasting by reading the scriptures by knowing the will of God hey karapasantabaka hey delebo shakayarabosa hey tededebo samantarika Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, there is the fire of the Holy Ghost falling upon people here. You are going to pray like never before. You are going to fast like never before. There is the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Of prayer and fasting. Thirsty for God. Hungry for God. Thirsty for God. Hungry for God. Not for material things. But thirsty for God. Hungry for God. Open up your heart to the Lord. Open up your spirit to the Lord. Open up your heart to the Lord. Open up your heart to the Open up your heart to the Lord. The Lord is here. The Spirit of God is here. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Spirit of the living God. Move in this place. Revive men and women. Revive men and women. Let there be total surrender. Let there be total commitment. Let there be persons willing to surrender to Jesus. Father, 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, sir. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Yes, Lift your hands wherever you are. See Jesus is moving here. I see five people here. There is the fire of the Holy Spirit falling upon your life. Jesus is baptizing people here with the Holy Spirit. You are going to experience revival starting with you. The hand of God is going to work in your life from now. God is reviving some people here. The Spirit of God is baptizing some people here in this place. The heaven is open for you tonight. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There is a great move of the Spirit here. Hey Shataya, hey Shataya, your life won't remain the same. Lift up your hands, open up your heart to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, the Lamb of God. Come here, sir. Come here, sir. Come here. The Lord is doing something in your life. Lift up your hands. God is reviving your spiritual life. You have been desiring to serve the Lord. You always move in evangelism. I see you moving in evangelism. Can you talk to me? I see you moving in evangelism. Uh, yes, you are an evangelist. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. You move different places. Bring the word of God. Uh, the Lord says he's baptizing you. He's reviving you for the power. Greater manifestation of the Spirit. The Lord is making his baptizing, he's making you something different. Fire on you. Fire on you! Fire on you! Fire on you! Jesus, we give you praise. The Lord, you have been going through a lot. And even reach on the moment and you say that one, I, 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 I'd rather go and do other things. Because of discouragement. Because I see you, you have encountered a lot of challenges. And it's true. And you, you even said, uh, 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 let me leave this this ministry work, this evangelism work. It's true. Uh, and uh, because I see three people. They are always discouraging you, discouraging you. There is a group of people you always walk with. But some of them, they've given up. And you are also about to give up because in your heart you felt tired. But the Lord says, now is your time of elevation, of lifting. Hold on. Love the Lord. Move in righteousness. Seek the gospel. Seek the Lord. Fast and pray. Read the word of God. There is a greater level. So the Lord is telling me, thank you, Jesus. I hear the, the, the Lord is telling today that your children has come. 
There are some things which you have never seen manifesting in your ministry life. But you are about to see another move of the Spirit of God starting with you. And the Lord is visiting your family for revival. In the whole family there is, there is a, the fire which I have seen. Which is going to be the fire of prayer seeking the Lord. The Lord is obliging fire in your house which is going to cause everyone in your family to be on fire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord is reviving some people here. There are people reviving here. Look at your hands. Revival. Revival. Anointing is going upon your life. God is reviving people here. Oh, Shanta Yaraba, Shanta Rabba. Revival. Revival. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Those people, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, join your hands, join your hands together. Join your hands, join your hands, join your hands. 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 The Holy Spirit is moving in your midst. I count one, two, three. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. We have ministers here, we have ashes here. We have them. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive. Receive, 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 receive. Receive, receive. Receive, receive. Makaya, put them on the pulpit. Put them there. Receive, receive. 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 Jesus is reviving people here. He is reviving people here. He is reviving. Put it down, Shekaya. Eta Taya Rabasha. Linda Rabasha. Lift up your hands. There is a revival coming in your life. Say, Jesus, revive me. Jesus, revive me. The third time. The third time. The third time. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Revive me. Jesus. Jesus. Revive me. Say it again. Jesus. Revive me. Jesus. Jesus. Revive me. Jesus. Come on. Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus. Yes, sir. Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Lift up your hands wherever you are. The Spirit of God is moving here. He is baptizing some people here. You are going to be on fire for God. You are going to be on fire for God. Fire in prayer. Desiring the things of God. Revival in your heart. Jesus. Yes, sir. Wherever you are, shout Jesus. 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 Let them get their hands. Even that one, even that one. Join your hands, come on, join your hands. Even that one. Thank you, Jesus. Join your hands, Jesus. Your hands. Your Jesus. There is a greater move of the Spirit of God, which is standing with our country. Hey, Jesus. You are the pioneer of revival. Everyone here in this place, you are the pioneer of revival. Lift up your hands to Jesus. Shout Jesus. 
Shall they get Jesus? The second time. The third time. Yes. Up to seventh time. The six. The seven. Baptize your people, Lord. We give you praise. Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus. Yes, sir. Baptize your people, Jesus. We is the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Yes, sir. Baptize your people. Let them be on fire for you. Fire for you. Jesus. Yes, sir. Bring him up. Bring him up. Bring him up. Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus. Yes, Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Put him down. Fire the Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Jesus. Jesus. Lift up your hands whatever you are. Jesus name. Heaven God is baptizing you with the hope. There is something God is doing in your life. The Lord is taking away the background. Whatever has been hindering you to progress in the salvation. Hindering you to progress in the ministry. Jesus is taking you away. Now, 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 the Holy Spirit is taking over your life. Now, 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 Spirit of the Living God. Spirit of the Living God. Take over every vessel tonight. Take over every vessel today. This is your evening spirit of the living God. Whatever you are, touch your hands. Say, Lord Jesus, let your fire sit on me. Let your fire, let your fire sit on me. That is it. 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 That is the fire of the Holy Spirit. That is it. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of the living God. Have it up, so be the spirit of the Lord. Receive, receive, receive. Receive in the name of Jesus. Be baptized in the spirit of God. Oh.